Hey, welcome back to Lunch Television 1227 on a Wednesday afternoon. Somebody out there doing some jogging on the spot. That's pretty good. <laughs> Got to get your exercise some uh, somehow. And of course, uh, Dr. Janine Burley joins us this afternoon to talk about people that have back pain, but pre prehabilitative stretches. Is right. That what it's so we call it prehabilitative because what we're trying to do this this these aren't exercises for when you're in a really acute time of low back pain. That's kind of just avoid pain altogether. Okay. We're trying to just strengthen up the core and, and work with a neutral spine. So we're prehabilitating against injury instead of rehabilitating an injury that's occurring. So trying to prevent back pain essentially. Okay. And these are easy exercises that anybody can. Yeah, do. we can do them at home. And I, I've included a foam roller because it's inexpensive and it really there's a thousand things you can do with it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to get you to start on your hands and knees. And again, what I'm going to establish with Michelle today mostly is working with a neutral spine. So I'm going to get her to exhale and lift her spine up to the ceiling. So this is obviously a curved spine. And then I'm going to get her to inhale, lift her chin up, stick her tailbone out, and that. And she'll just do it one more time. Exhale, again, curved spine. Inhale, and we've got the opposite curve. Now I'm going to get her to come to where she feels she's neutral. So just nice, good. And I'm going to get her to pull her navel into her spine and drop her chin just a little so her neck's actually nice and neutral as well. So now that we've established a neutral spine, whereas we're in the most efficient position so that the spine isn't having to work so hard, I'm just going to have you holding your core in nice and tight, navel to spine. Just extend one leg back behind you. Just okay. straighten it. Yeah. And we are looking for making sure the hip doesn't shift. That wasn't too bad. And okay. bring that back in. Okay. And then we'll do the other leg. Okay. Everybody so, like my workout shoes? Just yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so, and I'll have her bring that in. I would do that about 10 times each side, really trying to work not moving the trunk, just right through the glute and the leg. Okay. Okay. And then what I'm going to have Michelle do, if you don't mind lifting up your feet, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this blue uh, foam roller underneath her legs, and I'm going to get that neutral spine back here. Okay. And what I'm going to have her do is bring her knees towards her chest without changing the shape of her spine, so she won't go that far, and then push it out just to there and back in again well, this is... and back out and then you can take that from underneath you. This is really going to work her scapula and her core and what she's trying to work again is not to move her, her back but just <laughs> move the hip socket. Okay. okay, so we'll take that out. I'm gonna... we... Hang on a second. Oh, on, here we go. Yes. Can you please take the high heel shoes off? <laughs> no! Yes, no. I think you need to take them off. Why? Because you just have I to. I need the time, Kyle. Trust me. We need me. to work yeah. here. No, no, no. Okay. okay, I tried. Get out of here. Forearms on the, the roll. Okay. Good, and lying down on your tummy. Okay. And what I'm going to have her do, actually, we're going to have to push that out a bit more because your arms are going to be outstretched. Okay. This is really great for the mid spine, and it's good for a low back because it's not going to work the low back that much. So come right down. I want her to establish her hip bones and her pelvic bones with contact. Externally rotate your legs, so turn your feet out. Okay. And I'm going to just get you to lift your upper spine by pulling your forearms underneath you. Perfect. And then back down again. Oh, that and, was good. Yeah, it feels really good. And we just want to work the upper spine here. So that could be about 10 times, really just trying to get extension through here, and Michelle's doing a really good job. Okay, so come on up. We're going to switch to our back. Okay. So I'm going to get you to lie on this with this as the length of your spine, so your, your tailbone okay. and your head are going to make connection, your sacrum in your head, I should say. Okay. Good. Bring your knees in a little bit so you have more support. Okay. And I'm not going to ask her to press her spine in here. We're going to keep a neutral spine, and what we're going to do is just some simple curl-ups on the spinal. Okay. So I'm going to get you to bring your hands up. Okay and really nice and strong through the pelvis, and just up and back down with a nice neutral spine. My battery pack feels really good yeah, right now. one more, and just relax, and we do a bit more than that, and now I want you to keep that neutral spine and just lift the right leg off about three inches. Oof. Yeah, this is where you have to establish a real good pel pelvic connection, and it'll take time, and high heels probably aren't the best with it. Okay. And let's do the left. Okay. Good, and so we would work a bit more on this as well. Okay. Okay? Wow. And just one more thing, okay? Sure. Yeah. So I'm going to get you to come on up. Okay. We're going to get this off your battery pack and onto your mid-back. <laughs> okay. So put your mid-back on here. Yeah, okay. that's okay. And cross your arms. Okay. And then you can come right up, lift your glutes off. So you're putting the weight in the mid-back. And this is a nice one. You're just going to pull your bum forward and back and massage out your back. Oh, that's not bad. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a nice treat to do after a workout to, to work out the thoracic muscles that have worked for you. Awesome. Okay, Janine, so if, uh, there's obviously some more stretches that people can do. Is there a website that we can direct people to for more information? Absolutely. VancouverBackPain.com. We've got a lot of resources, but also send me an email and I'd be happy to get back to you with some ideas. Awesome. Janine, always a pleasure. Thank you okay. so much for coming in. I broke a little bit of a sweat there. <laughs> All right. Well, stay with us. More lunch television coming up in just a bit. Okay. Oh, it feels good. It feels good, eh?